Rookie contacts in the NFL are 4 years long, but for the first round picks there is a 5th year option. This 5th year option is gonna be applied for the players in the off season before their 4th season. So this year is gonna be for the 2017 NFL draft picks. So this option has to be applied before May 3rd. This year is gonna be May 4th, because May 3rd comes to on Sunday. The option is guaranteed against only injury at the time it's exercised. So if, for example, Trubisky is picked up by the Chicago Bears and he has a career ending, hope not, of course, please not, uh, to Mitch Trubisky during the year, he has a career ending injury, we have to pay him $24 million for the 2021 season. If Trubisky plays bad, they can decide before March of next year to escape from this contract. So, escape from this option and let him be a free agent. This year is gonna be the last year for the NFL teams to have this escape because there is a new CBA. The CBA is an agreement between the players, teams and the league that says that the from the 2018 draft class the this option is gonna be fully guaranteed so injury or not. Now let's take a look at each of the 32 first round picks from the 2017 NFL draft. So with the first pick uh, the Cleveland Browns selected Miles Garrett defensive end. The 2018 season ended badly for him uh, after the suspension with the brawl with uh, Steelers QB Mason Rudolph uh, when he hit him, him with the, his helmet. But he's still an important piece for the Cleveland's future. Uh, he's one of the best defensive players of the league with his 30.5 sacks in 37 games. So he's certain to be have his option picked up and he will surely have an offer to a long-term extension from the Cleveland Browns. With the second pick, there is Mitchell Trubisky, QB from the Chicago Bears. Uh, oof, I have no idea. Uh, toughest one, probably. Uh, well, the Chicago Bears during the offseason have acquired Nick Foles. And they have already said that the starting job is going to be an open competition between the two of them. Uh, Mitchell Trubisky had a really good 2018 and an awful 2019. So, on one hand, if they don't apply this option and he plays really well, like 2018 or better, they will have to pay him a lot for uh, having him from 2021 on but on the other hand if they pick up his option and he keeps playing badly and he hurts himself they will have to pay him a lot of money in 2021 so personally I think they should extend him and because the play uh, because Mitchell Trubisky has shown a lot of class a lot of talent uh, even in 2019 I think it's not completely his fault. Uh, the wide receivers played really badly as well during the season and the team wasn't focused. I don't know why. Um, I'm not saying that Matt Nagy is the problem, but Trubisky can be a great player. Uh, I don't know if he's worth the second overall pick ahead of uh, Patrick Mahomes, probably not, but to not extend him it would be it would be a tough decision, I think, for the Chicago Bears. With the third pick, the San Francisco 49ers selected Solomon Thomas, defensive end. He has started just three games last year. He had six ga- six sacks in his whole career. He has not shown anything very important for the 49ers. Now they have a young, strong core in defense. Uh, Nick Bosa, for example. So, no, they are not picking him up, definitely. With the fourth pick, the Jacksonville Jaguars selected Leonard Fournette, running back. So, he has been a thousand yard rusher for two of his first uh, three years, but he has a bad relationship with the team. They uh, They tried to trade him before the... NFL draft and yeah, I'm not seeing them picking him up. I'm seeing them trading him before the 2020 season. Uh, 
The fifth pick, there is Corey Davis, wide receiver for the Tennessee Titans. He has just uh, 60 days uh, in three seasons. Yeah, and he hasn't reached 900 receiving yards in any of them. AJ Brown, the second round pick last year, overtook him. And they didn't draft any other wide receiver in 2020 draft, so there is a little possibility for him. But I'm seeing them not picking up him and see how he's gonna be play and then decide at the end of the season if extend him or not. With the sixth pick, the New York Jets select Jamal Adams safety. Uh, he was upset last year because they have checked the field to trade him but he wants an extension and they will extend him so that's that's it nothing special with the seventh pick the los angeles chargers selected mike williams wide receiver uh, he had a good start in 2019 thousand yards uh 49 catches yeah he lead he led the nfl in yards per catch 20.4 he had just two touchdowns, but he is always healthy. He played well, and yeah, he's gonna probably be picked up by the Chargers. With the eighth pick, the Carolina Panthers selected the Christian McCaffrey running back. We know they have already signed him to a huge extension uh, through 2025. With the ninth pick, the Cincinnati Bengals selected John Ross, the third wide receiver. Yeah, he can be a star if he stays healthy, but I don't see them picking him up uh, with an injury-granted contract. So, no, they are not picking him up. Um, they will see if he plays well next year and then we will decide. But I'm not seeing them picking up an injury-granted uh, option with a guy that hasn't been able to be healthy so yeah with the 10th pick the Kansas City Chiefs select Patrick Mahomes QB who's this guy um, I don't know him I didn't so Patrick Mahomes Patrick Mahomes Patrick Mahomes never heard Uh-huh, uh-huh, so, let's see, Super Bowl champion, Super Bowl MVP, Super Bowl, first team all pro, NFL MVP, uh, NFL Offensive Player of the Year, NFL Passing Touchdowns leader, mm, 76 touchdowns, 18 interceptions, uh-huh, uh-huh, nah. He seems a bust, no. With the 11th pick, the New Orleans Saints selected Marshall Letmore, cornerback. Yeah, already announced, they are picking him up. With the 12th pick, the Houston Texans selected Deshaun Watson, QB. The only problem for him is that he was picked 12. Because there is an OCBA that said that the first 10 picks of the first round are gonna have more money with their option uh, than the one from 11 to 32. So um, Mahomes will earn $24 million and also Trubisky if he will see his option picked up by the Bears. But uh, the Sean Watson is gonna have just 18, around $18 million. Besides of that, of course, done deal with the Texans, of course. With the 13th pick, the Arizona Cardinals selected Harrison Reddick, linebacker. Uh, they tried to put him everywhere in the field, but he didn't work, so no. With the 14th pick, the Philadelphia Eagles selected Derek Barnett, defensive end, uh, already picked up by the Eagles. He saw it player, 6.5 sacks in 14 games a season. Uh, good move. With the 15th pick, the Indianapolis Colts selected safety Malik Hooker. His uh, option is uncertain. And they are trying to trade him. So we'll see what's going to happen. I think he's, he could be a solid player, but 
I, I don't see him with the option picked up. Whatever, uh, with the 16 pick, the Baltimore Ravens selected Marlon Humphrey, a cornerback. Uh, they have already announced that they will pick him up. Um, with the 17 pick, the Washington Redskins selected defensive end uh, Jonathan Allen, already picked up. With the 18 pick, the Tennessee Titans selected cornerback Adoree Jackson. Uh, they have not decided yet. Is good in defense and the return game, uh, but I see the Titans picking him up. So yeah, with the 19 pick, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, selected tight end OJ Howard. Already announced they are picking him up. With the 20th pick, the Denver Broncos selected Garrett Bowles, vested tackle. He started in all the games for ten from 2017. Uh, but he never played well. Uh, Elway doesn't like him a lot, so no, they're not picking me up. With number 21, Detroit Lions selected Jared Davis, cornerback. Uh, they signed the veteran Reggie Ragland, and they have already Jalani Tavai in the team. They like him, so I don't think his, his option is going to be exercised. With number 22, the Miami Dolphins selected Charles Harris, defensive end. Uh, he almost never played. Uh, I even don't know why, uh, but he, we never saw him in the field, so no. Uh, I would be surprised. <laughs> if they pick him up, I, I would be surprised. With number uh, 23, the Giants selected the Ingram, tight end, already announced that they are picking him up, and uh, as well Peppers. Um, with the 24 pick, the Texans selected the Conley cornerback. Uh, already announced that they are not picking him up. Um, there, there are a lot of guys now that they are already announced. Uh, the Giants with Peppers already announced, as I said. Uh, 26, the Falcons selected defensive end McKinley. Already announced that they are not picking him up. Uh, 27, the Bills uh, uh, selected cornerback White, Traverius, Traverius White, yes, already announced, they're picking him up. With number 28, we have the uh, defensive end selected by the Dallas Cowboys, now at the Miami Dolphins, Taco Charlton. So Charlton was waived last year by the Cowboys, he was bust for them, he played Solid this year with the Dolphins, five sacks in ten games, uh, but probably probably they're not gonna pick him up. I think because he played just a season with them. He was a bust in Dallas. I see them uh, just letting him play this year and then decide if extend him or not. With the 29th pick, the Cleveland Browns selected tight end David Njoku. Uh, already announced, yeah, they are picking him up. With number 30, the Pittsburgh Steelers selected defensive end TJ Watt, the brother of JJ. And uh, yeah, of course, he played really well in these, uh, these years. And uh, yeah, they announced on Tuesday that they are picking him up. With number 31, the San Francisco 49ers selected Linebacker Robin Foster, now he's in Washington, he was waived by the 49ers. He missed the entire 2019 for an injury. Uh, I don't think they're gonna pick him up. Um, I would be surprised, but no, they're not. So, with the 32nd pick and uh, last pick of the first round of the 2017 NFL Draft, the New Orleans sele Saints selected Ryan Ramchick. Offensive tackle, they are picking him up. Already announced, he's the first 32nd pick uh, that has his 50 year option uh, exercised. So that's all. The main thing, main problem, main curiosity in the NFL right now about the, this option is about Mitchell Trubisky in Chicago. I think they are picking him up. But if not, we see an open competition between him and Fultz. 
so it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be really, really interesting in Chicago. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.